Hello, so this will be about covetousness. Um, this will go along with Galatians chapter 5 series that I made that is in a playlist that I will link to this video in the description below and maybe at the end of this video. I highly recommend checking it out as these are all sins that will send you to hell. You cannot be a real Christian and do these things and God says that these things we know in our hearts already. So this is more of a confirmation of those things. Um, if you're living this way, you will go to hell, but you need to repent and Jesus Christ can save you from these things. Repentance means to turn away from these sins. Get out of that lifestyle. You cannot remain in it. And for sure, you will get forgiveness from God if you get out of this lifestyle. So this comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, which goes along with Galatians chapter 5. Okay, so... Luke chapter 12 verse 15 is where we're going to go to give you God's perspective of what this is. Not man's perspective, but God's perspective. So this is one of my favorite scriptures with this. It says, take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life or a woman's life does not consist in the abundance of the things that they have. So that right there, especially at the end, gives you more perspective of it in God's eyes of what he calls it, regardless of what man wants to say. So when somebody is using anything in life, not just money um, and materials, it could be anything in life, maybe their son or their daughter, and they think that that's more than life to them. That can be a form of covetousness by God. Take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life does not consist of the abundance of the things that he has, using that as a display. So the definition is what I'm going to give you right now. Uh, it's actually the same definition as greed, which says excessive desire to acquire or possess more. Okay, so that means that you can be poor. You can be poor and you don't have to have anything at all. It's just wanting to possess more, as it says, to acquire more excessively. So more than just the basic needs. That's what it's saying. Um, that's why Jesus tells us not to pray for these things because he already knows the needs that we have and we shouldn't be praying for no more than that. That's what he was saying there. Um, so examples to help you understand better. Gambling, playing the lottery, working two, three jobs or even one jobs by advancing in a career for the sole purpose of getting rich using welfare as an excuse for being rich. So some people will say, well, I give to this and I do this, but they really still have that in their heart that they want to do it because they want to be rich. Hoarding materials. So having more, having three or four pairs of shoes, or some people, their, their closets are full of shoes, full of clothes that they haven't even worn. Things like that is also forms of covetousness. Living over the top to show people that you have achieved something in life as a display of status. So uh, having a better car than somebody and how you hear some of these rap songs a lot of times and other songs as well, how they're always talking about how much they have or using a girlfriend, having a girlfriend or boyfriend, that's another example, as a way of telling people uh, that you have more and that you have achieved something in life. So this could also apply to somebody um, if they are spending money on unnecessary things known as living lavishly. So all these are forms of covetousness. God does not like these things. They are not in his kingdom. And Jesus wants us to, as he said, if we have two coats, give one to our brother if they need it. Not to live on this earth thinking it's about um, pleasure, because it's not. It's not about pleasure. That's not the whole sole purpose of being here on this earth. God wants us to love. He wants us to sacrifice and love by actually um, using the extra that we have to give to others and whatnot. So hopefully this helped you out. You can like, you can subscribe to the channel. If you need more help, there will obviously be more videos and get saved. Go through the playlist and get saved um, in the name of Jesus. God bless you.